we're going to play our first match of round two. So this is our playoff match number five. And this one, it's going to be the fifth seeded alliance and the eighth seeded alliance going up against each other. Evan, you want to tell us about this blue alliance? Yeah, Blue Alliance put up a re really good fight against the number four seed in round one. They fell just short, but they absolutely have the power. Um, that was the one where we noted that their autonomous looked like it was not scoring as many points as we might have expected. So if they've got that sorted out, we should expect that they can come out of the gate with a really big score. Yeah, on the Red Alliance side, we saw Code Orange being the main defensive robot during their first match against the number one alliance. Um, I wonder, with facing this alliance that maybe doesn't have quite as much firepower as the number one alliance, if they choose the same strategy or if they try to outgun them um, by doing a triple offensive strategy instead. It really could go a lot of different ways here. And, and we see, we've seen each one of these alliances play very, very well this weekend. And I'm just extremely excited to see this matchup. Let's send it down to the field and meet these teams. Andrew, take it away. All right, thanks a lot, Mason. We've already met all these teams, so we're just going to go through this really quickly and we'll get the match going. So starting off on the Red Alliance, Alliance number eight, it's Team 3476. That's Code Orange from Irvine, California. In the middle, we've got Team 971. That's from Mountain View, California, Spartan Robotics. And rounding out this Red Alliance, we've got 3647. From San Diego, California, that's the Millennium Falcons. The fourth Alliance member on this team is Team 3256. That's the Warrior Borgs from San Jose, California. All right, down here on the Blue Alliance, we've got your number five Alliance, starting out with 6036. That's Peninsula Robotics from Palo Alto, California. And in the middle spot, the Alliance Captains, 4499. The Highlanders from Fort Collins, Colorado. And rounding it out, we've got 20, 46. That's Bare Metal from Maple Valley, Washington. Their fourth alliance member is Team 2486. From Flagstaff, Arizona, that's Coco Nuts. We've got a thumbs up from Pauline, so we're going to get this match going. Start a round two and three. Nah, ha, ha. I got a last minute thumbs down. This is why we have a multi factor authentication system of thumbs. You got to make sure you get one thumb and then you put the code in from your phone for the second thumb. It's like a whole thing. All right, second time's the charm. Let's get this match going. Drivers behind the line, and we're going now in three, two, one, go. Here we are in playoff match number five. All six robots filling that upper hub. 2046 going for a few more. 971 and 3476, two well-oiled machines. Up for two more as well, and all three go in. Looks like we are 50 to 46, a four-point favor for the Blue Alliance coming out of that autonomous period. But now it's time for teleop, and let's see what these robots can do. 971, 3476 looking for their cargo. 3647 on defense duty against 4499, but 4499 slides right on by. 60, 36, up in scoring position again, a welcome change from last match. They are ready to take it on and show that Blue will come out victorious. But not if the Red Alliance can do anything about that. With 3647 and 3476, two teams with very similar numbers in position and ready to score. 973 with that catapult on a turret. Oh, it looks like 6036 is taking a ride on 3647 bumpers. But they've got unlocked and now 2046 bare medals up for two. One bounces in and out though. This match seems to have plenty of robot on robot pileups. They've all dispersed for now, but let's see who's next to take the bite of defense. 
44.99 from the protected zone, but 34.76, Code L, trying to keep them back there. 36.47, Millennium Falcons doing the same. The Red Alliance does not want 44.99 to be able to score here. We've got under a minute left, and it's only an eight point match in favor of the Blue Alliance. Can the Red Alliance change that before time runs out? They're sure going to try. 60-36, grabbing the next piece of cargo, and it's up, and it's in. Two from Bare Metal, two from Code Orange, two from Millennium Falcons. We've got 35 seconds left, which means, wait for that sound. There it is, it's climbing time here at Chessie Champs. Let's see who gets to the top of that traversal run first. 44-99, looking for position. Nope, they're taking another shot. 60-36 is ready to climb though. They're lined up, they're getting position. Kodo doing the same for Red. It's only 10 seconds left and Kodo is the only one off the ground. Let's see if Bare Metal can fly on up. Kodo has got the traversal. Bare Metal is up as well in the nick of time. 971 for the mid. As time expires, your match results will be coming soon. Some scores for you. It'll be the Blue Alliance taking this one 163 to 141. Let's see the bracket now. Looks like the Blue Alliance will be moving on to match number 10. And our Red Alliance, this will be their last match. So we'd like to give a huge round of applause to our Alliance number 8. 34, 76, 36, 47, 9, 7, 1, and 32, 56. Robo Sports Network, back to you. Congratulations to the number eight seed, the Blue Alliance. Won that one, though, and is taking the victory, going on to round number three. Adrian, what did you see in that match? Uh, I mean, it was back and forth almost the entire match. Red was ahead, blue was ahead, red was ahead, blue was ahead. It was so exciting to watch. And this is a matchup that in a normal playoff bracket, we would never get to see. Yeah, that, that's a really neat part of this double elimination tournament is we're getting a mix up of different teams, different strategies. Evan, how did that stra strategy vary from these alliances' first match that they played? Well, we saw Code Orange starting shooting again, which is something we know that they do well, and that allowed them to keep pace for almost the entire match. Unfortunately, towards the very end, they fell behind. And, um, and then at the end, the climbs, 971 didn't quite get up on the high bar. Um, only bare metal climbing for blue, but still enough to take the match. Alliance 5 will move on, Alliance 8. Uh, a valiant two matches, but not quite enough to stay in it. So before we look at our next match, we're going to do a replay of this one. We want to show you some of our favorite highlights of it. Adrian, did it kick off with a bang or what? Oh my goodness. We said in the first match that this uh, alliance led by 44.99 did not show us an Auton we knew they were capable of, but boy, did they deliver in this match. It was um, almost all makes uh, for both red and blue. Um, it looked like it was a little bit lopsided at the beginning just because all the balls didn't count um, as quickly. Uh, but coming out of autonomous, we were almost neck and neck. 
And look at the way the balls just shook out. These, the hub can be random. They can come out of any of the four corners up here. But in this case, almost all the balls decided to come out on the blue side of the field. And that really is an advantage because these robots who start over here can pick their first supply up right away. And the Red Alliance then having to split up the field, send someone all the way across. Um, they're able to navigate that. And as we get into the match, Red ties it right back up. It's just volley for volley back and forth and staying so close. Everyone playing offense with a little bit of opportunistic defense. And, you know, it, as we go through this match, um, they really kept it close. A very strong shooting performance from both alliances. And it's not until right towards after the one minute mark, right about here, that Blue Alliance finally takes the lead for good. Uh, and then they don't give it up. Yeah, and this is really interesting to me that, that it took so long for one alliance to really make the, the best play of it, but we can see these red balls being stuck over here. Blue Robot's able to play a little bit of defense unintentionally on those balls and make it hard for red to score that much. And then looking towards the end of the match, the Millennium Falcons clearly had a decision point here that they were going to try to stop the Blue Alliance from being successful at their hang. So they're putting a pin on here after the 30-second mark to keep robots from being able to get to their hangar and do their hangs. So we're going to take a look at our next 